Hello, I'm Eric Connect, Director of Channel Development for Minuteman Power Technologies. I'm here today to discuss uninterruptible power supplies. I'm hoping that after you view this video, you'll have a better understanding of uninterruptible power supplies, the different technologies, and the benefit of incorporating them into every project that you are involved with. Basically, what you need to recognize is with uninterruptible power supplies, they protect 100% of the power problems. A lot of folks out there will put a surge strip out, and what they don't realize is that only protects for about 7% of the power problems. A UPS will protect 100% of the power problems that are out there. Now, there are three different types of UPSs that you need to be aware of. The first type is called a standby UPS. It's a very inexpensive UPS. It's kind of like a surge strip with batteries attached to it. What you'll find is the person who's buying this product is buying typically on price or it's their first transition from a surge strip to a UPS. As the name implies, it stands by and it waits for the power to come in at an unsafe level. When it does so, it switches to battery to solve the power problems. When power is restored to a safe level, it'll switch back to AC power to keep your equipment running. Keep in mind, very economical unit. The next step is called a line interactive UPS. A line interactive UPS is also referred to as automatic voltage regulation. And basically what it will do is it will take the incoming voltage and it will boost it up if it's too low or it will buck it down if it's too high. And I have a demonstration unit over here that will go over that will show exactly what a UPS will do in a situation like that. The other UPS is called a online UPS. This is also referred to as a double conversion. And the reason for that is it takes the AC power coming out of the wall, converts it to DC, and back to AC on the output side. It provides by far the cleanest and best power protection that you can get on the market. It is an ideal solution for a manufacturing facility with a lot of machinery running. And wherever you have generators, this is an ideal unit to use. Now what I want to show you is an example of what happens with a line interactive UPS. What you will have, have you ever been sitting at your desk and you've noticed that the keyboard will lock up, it's not functioning, it's not responding, or you've seen that your lights have dimmed? That's a situation where you've had a brownout. It's where the voltage has dipped to an unsafe level. What you'll have as an example is with the computer, the keyboard locking up, your CPU needed X amount of voltage to operate safely and when it didn't get that voltage it looks for peripheral devices it can shed. It shed the keyboard. It didn't need it. Though you did, it didn't need it and it did that so that it could stay running. If you had a UPS it would have corrected the problem and you wouldn't have had that issue. So let me show you an example of what happens, happens with a line interactive UPS. What you see here is a replication of what your power would be like in your facility. What you have is a protected meter here, which is actually running off of our UPS down at the bottom. It happens to be running off our Enterprise Plus, which is a line interactive UPS. This meter here represents the non-protected load. That's as if it's just the utility power that's coming in and you had no power protection at all on it. The lights above represent the equipment that would be plugged into those receptacles. So you can see right now at the facility, our power is coming in at right at about 120 volts, which is an acceptable and ideal setting of where you would want it to be. What you'll see, and what I'm going to show now, is an example of what will happen when you have a brownout, which makes up about 70% of the power problems out there is when your voltage is too low. So what you'll see in this example is as the voltage on the unprotected side begins to drop, what you'll notice is this light just got a little bit brighter. Your power has dropped to 104 volts. Well, what you've noticed here is that this light's a little bit brighter, and it's because under the protected load, the line interactive UPS has boosted the power up to keep it at a safe level. If the power were to continue to drop, you will notice here that the voltage now is at 99 volts and you probably just lost your keyboard. That scenario that I had mentioned earlier where your keyboard is unresponsive. Also, if you had had voicemail on your phone system, your voicemail not, may not be recording messages right now, and you could be having other problems. But on the protected side with the UPS, you can see that things are well within a safe power. As the power continues to drop, 
you'll see that now if you had a monitor, your monitor could be flickering. If you're dealing with DVRs, which are basically just a box full of hard drives, your hard drive is going crazy right now and needs to be taken care of. It needs power protection because your equipment will fail. And you'll notice on the output side, we're still within a safe range. You'll notice here, the voltage has just now dropped down to 87 volts on the unprotected side. You have now lost your DVR, you've lost your monitor, yet on the UPS side, it boosted it up again and everything is still operating. Now, if the voltage drops more, now you've just lost your entire network, yet on the protected side with the UPS, you're completely protected. You didn't feel a thing, everything is still up and running, you don't have idle time. All of our UPSs ship with the Sentry Plus software, which allows you to monitor power. And in fact, if you're using it in a PC application, it can save all files and shut down the computer before the batteries are depleted in the UPS. Now that covered the brownout situation. Let's cover the other scenario where the voltage is coming in too high. You'll notice right now on the unprotected side, our voltage is at 132 volts, yet on the protected side through the UPS it is at 118 volts. It's well within a safe range. As the power continues to go, you'll notice how bright these lights glow. Right now you're cooking some resistors and capacitors on the boards of your equipment. As you know, everything that we have today has some form of electronics in it, and if it doesn't, it relies on a piece of equipment that does. So it makes sense that you need to make sure that it's protected by an uninterruptible power supply. And what you'll have happen is now you'll see we're at 148 volts, yet on the UPS side it is well within range. So you can see in a scenario where you may be in an environment of a business park, a manufacturing facility, or even in your local convenience store or school, who have constant power fluctuation, you can protect all of the network gear, the telephone system, or security equipment that you just paid to have installed. And now we're back to a safe level. Now the unit that we had had operating this happened to be a line interactive UPS. It's our Enterprise Plus, And that has a true sine wave output. On an online UPS, it would work just the same, except you wouldn't be switching the battery. It would actually be conditioning the power all the time, and you wouldn't have the clicks because it's actually running continuously off the batteries or off the inverter at all times. I know it can be a daunting task to select the proper UPS. You may get intimidated, and you don't know which one to recommend. Minuteman UPS recognized that, and we came out with a website that is very simple to use. It's called Size My UPS. If you know your load in watts, VA, or amps, you can just plug it in and you can put, hey, I need two hours worth of backup. And it'll actually narrow down the list and it'll tell you exactly which uninterruptible power supply to use. Unfortunately, most of the time you don't know what the power requirements are. However, you do know what the equipment is. And fortunately, what we've done is we've built a complete equipment load library that you can pick from the different categories, whether it be telecom, network, peripherals, or security equipment, and you can pick the manufacturer of the equipment, the model number, and you just add them to the list. And when you've got all the equipment added to the list, you can click Size It Now, and it'll select the proper uninterruptible power supply for you. Now, if you have any other questions and you need help, feel free to give us a call in the office at 800-238-7272, and we'd be more than happy to help you in selecting the uninterruptible power supply that would work best for your application. Thank you, and I hope that this was very informative for you.